In this video, I will explore two different methods to access shared folders in Ubuntu. Being able to access shared folders allows you to effortlessly work with files and folders stored on remote machines. So let's jump right in. The first method involves using graphical interface with the help of default desktop environment on Linux system known as Nautilus. At first, open Files and choose a folder that you want to share with another operating system. In this case, I want to share this folder on my desktop called Share with Windows. This folder already contains some files within it. Now, right-click on this Share folder and click on Local Network Share. After this, click on Share this folder. It's important to note here that you need to have Samba installed on your Linux system. Samba is the sharing service for Windows and Linux. You can find the installation process for Samba in the article mentioned in the video description. Now click on Allow others to create and delete files in this folder. After that, hit on Create Share. Nautilus will prompt you to add permissions to the folder. Press on Add the permissions automatically to prepare the folder for sharing. Now you can see the green icon at the corner of the folder. This indicates that the folder is now ready to access or share. Next, open the Ubuntu terminal and type this command. This will show the IP address of my Linux system, which will be necessary when I will need to access it from Windows. Now I will switch to Windows on my PC. But make sure that Samba is activated before switching to Windows. You will find the instructions for enabling Samba in the article provided below. Now the first step is to go to Control Panel and navigate to Network and Internet section. Next, click on Network and Sharing Center. After that, go to Change Advanced Sharing Settings and turn on Network Discovery. Click on Save Changes. Once you've completed this, close the control panel and navigate to this PC. In the address box, type in the IP address of the Linux system along with the folder to share. Press Enter. Next, you will be prompted to enter the username and password of your Linux system. Enter these details carefully. After that, click on OK. As you can observe, once I provided the details, the contents of the share folder became accessible to me from Windows. For the second method, we are using command line. But make sure the network discovery is turned on in control panel of Windows. Now, I have already created a folder called Windows Share on my Windows and saved a file called Document in it. Let's close this. Now, I will right-click on Windows Share folder and go to Properties. After that, click on Sharing and navigate to Advanced Sharing option. Here, I will click on Share this folder and then go to Permissions. Next, I will hit on the Add button and enlist the desired user account here. In this case, it is User. Now click on OK. After that, make sure User is selected and give permissions for full control, change and read. And then press OK. Press OK again. You can check the recent changes in security. Select user. And you can see all the permissions that you have given here. After that, press OK again. Now there are two ways we can use the command line to access shared folders. The first one includes using the sifsutils package. Let's install the sifsutils package with the command Now let's create a directory called sifshare that will act as a mount point for the shared folder. Now let's mount the shared folder of Windows in this directory.
Enter the password of your Windows user account. Once this is done, open Files and go to Save Share folder. Here you will be able to access the contents of the shared folder of Windows from Ubuntu. The second way includes using SMB Client to access shared folders. At first, install the SMB Client package with this command. Next, execute this command to gain access to the Windows Share folder. Here 192.168.217.1 is the IP address of my Windows system. Enter the password of your user account. This user is the account in Windows system. Now when you see SMB with this symbol, it means you can now access the shared contents of Windows from Ubuntu. To get a better understanding, type ls and it will show the document file of Windows Share folder on my terminal. And there you have it, two straightforward methods to access shared folders in Ubuntu. Whether you prefer using the graphical interface or the commands line, you can seamlessly connect to shared resources on your local network or Windows machine.